I mean The Hague, the third biggest city in the Netherlands and also the fastest growing student city in our country. Uh, today I will be guided by a student expert who knows everything about this beautiful historical city on the coast. Hi, my name is Claudio and I'm a former student at Leiden University and currently living here in The Hague. So Claudio, uh, why are we standing here? Well, first of all, The Hague is a very important city for Leiden University. The Hague is the political capital of the Netherlands, which houses the Dutch government, as well as many international organizations. And that makes a perfect fit for, to study international, political, safety, or uh, public administrative studies. A perfect fit. Nice, but uh, today is only about the city, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, we're standing here to start off our, our city tour. I thought this would be the perfect spot, since you can see the beautiful skyline. We're starting at the, the start of the city center with lots of shops and stores restaurants, bars, and on this side you can take the tram towards either the beach or at Haagse Bos, also known as the Hague Forest. So a lot is happening here. Are you ready for a tour? Definitely. Let's go. Every good city tour starts with a nice coffee, or a Haagse Bakkie, as we would say. Thanks. This is the Turf Mark, the street that connects the central station to the city center. It's where you can find several ministries, like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Internal Affairs, and Justice and Security. It's also the street where the Wijnhaven building of the Hague campus is located. I must admit that this isn't new to me. I already had a tour in Wijnhaven. Um, so if you want to have a look inside, then click on the link. If not, follow us and explore the city, right? Absolutely, let's go. After a short walk from the Hague campus, we arrive here. This is at Spui in city center of The Hague. On this side, you have the library, city hall, and behind there, there's also a new dance theater they're building. Here's the movie theater, one of the four big ones in The Hague. Nice, and I see a lot of shops here. Yeah, this is a, a main shopping area. Um, this is a, a big street with, on both sides, several other streets. On both sides, there's a huge square. On that side, it's called the Grote Markt. And here we have a plane where a lot of students also come to have a drink or a bite to eat. Let me take you there and I'll show you around further. Nice. One of the many squares where students come together is right here on this square. It's called Het Plein. You have a lot of restaurants and terraces where you can have a nice drink or maybe a little bite to eat. Nice. Hey, and I understood that you can also uh, meet the prime minister of the Netherlands here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is where the Dutch government and Dutch parliament is. So after they're done working, a lot of politicians, including the prime minister, they come here to relax, to have a drink or a bite to eat. And they're very open. So if you meet one of them, you can easily say hi and, uh, and go up to them. Nice. Let's cycle that way and I can show you a bit more what we can find there, okay? Sounds good. Follow me. Right here, you have the Mauritshuis. Mauritshuis is one of the most beautiful museums of the Netherlands. It's very popular with tourists and it contains a lot of great paintings from renowned Dutch painters during the Golden Age. Like uh, uh, Johannes Vermeer, right? Yeah, for example, um, the, the painting of the girl with the pearl earring of Johannes Vermeer is hanging right here since the early 1900s. Nice. Hey, and talking about typical Dutch things like the Golden Age, uh, cycling is also typical Dutch, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, all students in the Netherlands actually transport themselves by, uh, by cycling, even though the public transportation in the Netherlands, buses and trams are very good as well. Okay. Right here, you have Lange Voorhout. Lange Voorhout is one of the most monumental and artsy streets of The Hague. You have a lot of markets um, during summer right there, and there's also the Escher Graphic Art Museum. It's amazing. Cool. Let's go this way. Here we have a nice view of the Dutch Parliament buildings. Nice. Personally, I really like it here. This place on the Hof Vijver. During holidays, for example, King's Day on the 27th of April, there are usually some markets or even a festival going on in this spot. And uh, I even heard that the king of the Netherlands lives in The Hague. 
Yes, that's true. Um, he lives at the Hague Forest. It's very close by the place where we uh, started the tour actually. But I do know a special place for the Dutch royal family right here in the Hague. It's very close by. That sounds interesting. Did you know the king actually studied at Leiden University? Of course I know that. So the king has his residency here in the Hague. And now we're in the public backyard of one of his working palaces, Palace Nord Einde, which you can see a little bit there through the trees. Oh yeah. It's very common for students and also for other people to come here to chill, relax, maybe have a picnic or do a yoga class or even play the violin. Yeah. It's a very nice park. So do you want to go for a walk and see what we can discover in the park? Sure. So those were the palace gardens. Nice, but oh, I see a lot of cool places over there. Yeah, this is the, the Prinsstraat. Prinsstraat is a, a lovely area with a, a lot of really nice uh, side streets as well. Uh, with restaurants, cafes, boutiques, it's very nice. Um, but I think for now I would like to show you some places just outside of the city center. Um, so I think it's best for now to go this way. I'll follow you. The city center is really nice, but most students actually live in one of the neighborhoods around the city center. For example, here in Zedehelde Quartier. It's a very nice neighborhood with a lot of cafes, bars, yoga studios. It's very popular amongst young people and expats, and actually I live here myself as well. It's a great area to live. All the neighborhoods around the city center basically have their own sort of identity. Some of them are very chic, some of them are very urban. It's nice to take a bike ride and just go around these neighborhoods and discover it for yourself. I can imagine. Should I go more that way? Yeah. Hey, check it out, it's the Peace Palace, right? Exactly, that's right. Let's put our bikes here. Here, you can find the International Court of Justice, the only judicial organ of the UN which is not located in New York. It's one of my favorite buildings in The Hague. Yeah, I can see why. It is also the reason why The Hague is called the uh, City of uh, Justice, uh, Peace and Security. Also, yeah, and also because The Hague is home to the International Criminal Court, the ICC, which is located in a different part of The Hague, called Scheveningen. Mm -hmm. um, what do you say if we take uh, the tour by, uh, by tram right now? Sounds great. Hey Claudia, on the way in the tram, I noticed that uh, The Hague has a lot of embassies. Yes. That's right. Um, the Hague is, almost all embassies in the Netherlands are located in The Hague, mm -hmm. because The Hague is the political capital of, uh, of the Netherlands, like I said before. It's actually quite nice that you notice that, because most of them are quite hidden in between, behind parks or trees or... That's the second thing I noticed, that uh, The Hague has, a, has so many greenery and parks. Yeah, I think The Hague is one of the, the greenest cities in the Netherlands. You have a lot of parks, it's ideal for outdoor sports, and the parks are also uh, very commonly used for, for festivals or something like that. By the way, do you notice anything else while we're here? I give you a hint, you can smell it. You mean to see? Exactly. <laughs> Behind the courthouse here, the former bathhouse, you can find Scheveningen Beach. Perfect place to chill and relax. Nice. Uh, what are we waiting for? Did you bring your swimming suit? I have a blue speedo on it. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. I would really hang out here if I studied in The Hague. And what, what was it? Only 15 minutes by bike or tram from the center? Something like that. It's very close by and it's a perfect way to catch a breath, uh, breath of fresh air after sitting in lectures all day, of course. You can do anything you want here. You can go surfing, there's beach sports, uh, there's even glow-in-the-dark midget golf, there's <laughs> bowling, there's restaurants and so much, so much more. So it's a perfect way to, uh, to relax here. And there is? Exactly. The Ferris wheel. The one and only. I think that, well, I would, no, we should go up there. Are you sure? Yeah. What are we waiting for? Really? Come on. <laughs> well, this is a nice ending for a perfect day. Definitely. Beautiful view. Hey, to, uh, to end the tour, you undoubtedly have a last fun fact. Ooh, good one. Um, yeah, of course I do. This is actually Europe's first giant Ferris wheel oversea.
<laughs> Impressive. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Claudio, uh, thanks for the tour and everything you've shown us. You're yeah. welcome. I, I enjoyed it very much. I had a great time. Uh, I hope you had a great time uh, uh, and enjoyed the DH, the city of peace, justice, and security. Hope to see you soon and uh, enjoy the view. Can we go for a bite? Yeah, I think in the old harbor there's some nice restaurants.